yeah hello guys you're welcome once again to my channel um, it's your boy yao musical and today i'm going to be doing something about eq eq and we are going to um learn how to eq properly after you have recorded your song you see eq is very very important because after recording your song there are some bad frequencies that our our there are some bad frequencies that comes out when we sing or we rap or we record our songs and with that to take them off you have to eq it and the eq basically what it does it's either addition or subtraction so um when you find the bad frequencies that are in the eq then you subtract and you will find the, the good ones that you add that is how it is that is basically the work of eq and it gives a crisp sound it gives a clear sound a clear recorded vocal song that is the ba the basic work of an eq yes and i'm going to be adding compression to it compressor we are going to compress our song we are going to um, make sure the song is well compressed you see compression it depends on the song how you want it you want it to be hardly compressed or softly compressed yes and with this compre compression i'm going to be using two of waves um plugins and one um compressor from cubase 5 without much i do i don't want to waste your time let's get into the song yeah so um this is the song this is the working area we have to listen to the song first and after that i switch off all the plugins then we eq after eqing then we move to the compression so stay tuned this is the song it, it, it's music It, it, it's music, you're number one producer. It's <laughs> yeah so that is the song that is the missed song so before that we have to turn off everything every pl all the plugins in the group one first yeah let me turn off this one's too yeah so um with with um the, the 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 first verse which is the chorus this are uh, this is the eq mind you i said i'm i'm going to show something about eqing just eqing so later on we can be doing something about the rest the seagate and the auto tune and you know the fat filter um l2 i have a video which i'll put in the description which is the mixing tutorials you can check it if you haven't um watched it already um sorry i didn't say this please if you are new to my channel kindly consider subscribing like and comment 
and also share for others to see yeah so let's go on so with the first vest the eq i used fab filter pro q3 fab filter pro q3 yes those who don't have it i'll put the link the link in the description so that you can download the fab filter plugins and install so this is this this is it this is how i eq'd it yes i cut off a little bit you know of the loose the loose i cut it off a little bit and for here and for to do that it's very simple you just have to click this way yeah bring it down this way and curve it a little yeah use your ears to get the particular or the right sound that you want yeah bad frequencies there so i had to you know cut it down i had to do this way you just have to click it up you find out you don't you don't have to send it up too much just somewhere here yeah then you 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 you, you find out you find the bad frequencies you drag it down that is how it is simple as that so and and here too yeah I boosted it the same thing I boosted it a little I found out that there were there was some bad frequencies there so I had to you know subtract that bad frequencies very very little that is it I did the same thing here the same thing here so that is it so let's listen to the after let's listen to it let's listen to before and after so this is the before and after baby die baby die i've been that i need can you see kk baby die baby die i've been that i need can you see kk yes i would do a call tell me that i hope i'm on pc and i've been a cab i've been that yeah i believe if you are using um headphone or a good speaker you can hear what is happening here you can see that when i switch it on and i switch it off it's it, it's a little bit when i switch it on it it cleans it up a little bit and when i switch it off it's very muddy it's very boomy yeah this is just the the first verse that is how that is why i didn't cut too much because we'll be doing the real cutting on the group yeah so that so with the first vest that is how i eq'd it that is it so um from then you know you have to link it to the group so the group eq2 i did the same thing here which is much more different here so that is it yeah so um <coughs> sorry with um the group eq wing that is what i had i told you eq wing is basically addition and subtraction addition subtraction addition subtraction that is all eq is about yes so as you can see i cut off this part it will be this way just cut it off i cut off this part it depends some people can cut off way back it depends but when you do too much um the, the vocals will not be live you know it wouldn't be live so you need to listen to your ears let's use your ears to listen and get the right um amounts of hairs that you want to cut you want to cut you don't have to do it too much and you don't have to do it less too yeah for male um for male voice it should be around 100 around there for female 100 and above yeah so that is it so i did the same cutting here as you can see 
after after doing this you click here you go to shape low cut then after that you click it again you go to sloop then 75 it depends it depends on the number you want to choose the db you want to choose so the same thing happens there then after that i boosted this part i boosted it and i saw that they were bad frequencies so i had to you know cut it down a little and i had this so i did the same thing here i boosted it found out they were bad frequencies i had to cut it down get what i want so let me let's do boosting and cutting and see how it sounds yeah so as you saw it was very muddy when i boosted it and when i cut it it was very clean a little bit clean you see the small small thing the little little bit cleaning you are doing makes the whole song that is how it is so i did the same thing here um, you can copy with the numbers that i did yeah the same thing here the same thing here the same thing here the same thing here and with this one i told you it's either you add or you subtract so this one i boosted it and the the the, the, the range in which the vocals were sounding it was very good for me so i had to you know add it a little i i did some addition you can see it's addition this one starts subtraction so addition so i added it a little yeah and i cut this one that is it so let's do before and after listen to our vocals Yes, you I believe you can all hear. Yeah. So, um, with the fab filter, when you open it, when you install and you open, you're about to EQ, um, in the group your vocals make sure it's on 30 db 30 db 30 db you make sure it's there it's not a force though you can put it on 12 but you just make sure it's on 30 db that is best yeah that is best so after getting all this done then you listen to it very well that you think the eq in is very good if it's not good after you mix you come back do some little tweets then you are done let's listen to it and do some on and off yeah that is it that is it that is it with our eq now let's move to the compression the compressor with the compressor i equaled before i compressed basically that is me that is how i do that's how i do my mixing it's not always that i do it like that but it depends so um with the compressor i used our compressor stereo from waves 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 plugins so the attack i set it on seven the release 117 it's on arc the gain 3.6 the threshold the threshold very very important negative 24.6 it depends on you the threshold make sure that make make sure that all the 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 the, the waves or the waves that you see here you see that some are big some are bigger than others others are smaller yeah yeah let me see if i can find something uh -huh. so you can see that this one especially this one especially 
this is a sound this is a vocal this is a voice this one is also this one is bigger than this so the threshold makes sure that it sets the bar it sets a bar it sets a bar among them so that it cuts off the ones that are too high it cuts them off and bring them to the level of this one and in the process of doing this adding the ratio to it it reduces the volume so all you need to do is to add the gain adding the threshold to the that adding the ratio to the threshold reduces the volume of the vocals so you need to um, gain it give it back the volume that you got you lost when you were thresholding and ratioing so let's do some on and off you can copy this yeah you can copy this let's just do some on and offs and see how a vocal sounds like without um a compressor yeah now with the compressor the first compressor this one i use three compressors the first one yeah i didn't want to compress it too much because i'll be doing another compression that is why and it's okay for me it's okay for me so we move to another compression it depends on you you don't have to com use two compressors it depends it depends on you. you can use only one and you get a perfect sound yeah so the beginners who are listening who are watching to me who are subscribing subscribing to my channel who are liking who are commenting to my channel i'm telling you that it's not a force to use two compressors or three compressors you can use a one a single com um plugin which is a compressor to achieve a greater um a mix to achieve a greater mix sorry so the second one was um almost like the the first one though so this one i had it from cubase this is the um, um a compressor um from cubase 5. so the threshold i set it on negative 37.7 ratio ratio 2.84 the makeup gain i decide to turn it off the attack seven just like here the hold is 20. the release i set it off the analysis um it's 100. yeah yeah so that is it for the compression i think i have one here too yeah i have one here i have one compressor here yeah cla2 stereo this one i just i didn't do anything with it the only thing i did was setting it off it, it would it's normally on 60 hertz so the only thing that i did i found out there, there were some noises in it so i had to put it off and the, lo the noise will go if you use cla2a stereo there are noises in it put it on off the noise will go yeah so guys that is it for my compression and my eq in let's listen to the track so you can see that um it sounds good it sounds good it sounds good with all the eq in and the, and the compression it sounds good um let's add the beat to it <laughs> yeah so this is basically why you can't just add eq and a compressor and say so you, you are done mixing it's add a lot of stuff this is a maximizer it's very needed 
um you need to add it and it's not a first do but you have to get a noise stereo if you, you, you find out that there are noises in it and you need to give it more volume more volume for it to be loud so that is it for now guys don't f don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment make sure to share also to a friend we all teach ourselves beginners network i say this is your musical until next time peace bye bye